If you love the outdoor lifestyle as much as we do, this message is for you. Most hunters, male, female, truly love peace and the serenity that being in the woods, on a mountain, sitting in a duck blind, or glassing a distant ridge brings them. My analogy has always been pretty simple to explain to those who may not hunt. You know, when you're in a vehicle and it flashes E, you've got to stop from where you're going and go fuel up. Well, we hunters have to do the same thing. We work hard all year, week after week, and we start running on E. <laughs> so we go to that favorite stand, blind, or ridge. We listen to the sounds of the outdoors as it slowly fills our soul. And we find contentment as we refuel our souls for another 40 to 60 hour week. The outdoors is our fuel station that helps replenish our souls and our God-given instincts. You've heard the phrase, to become one with nature. That's what we do and how we do it. Reading about it, watching it helps, but it doesn't fill our tank up as full as being really out there. Witnessing it all, a sunrise, a sunset, the smells, the sounds echoing through the trees and valleys, the true connection with being outdoors. Now, take this away and watch how fast we all deteriorate from the inside out. Most of all, watch how the wildlife diminishes right in front of our eyes as we eliminate the true conservation principles that hunters have played forever. I'm not here to tell you who to vote for. That's not our way. But we must truly research the individuals and understand what they're all about and what their agenda is. Together, we truly do have a voice, we have a power, and we have our constitutional right to protect and preserve the outdoor lifestyle. Did you know in Georgia alone, there's over 1.3 million hunters, yet more than 600,000 of them have low to no propensity or haven't even registered at all? Please don't be the silent majority this time, but rather stand up and let's fight to protect American hunting and the outdoor heritage. Not only for this generation, but for many generations to come. You see, I truly want someday for RJ and Aubrey's kids to grab their Daisy Red Rider and go plinking in the woods, just like we all did. We want your grandkids to grab their bow and quiver and venture into the woods to learn how to survive and become better stewards of the land and its animals. Don't let them take this away. Please go out, register, and vote to help future generations live and experience this great lifestyle. My father always said to me, if you really want to understand an adult, look at their kids. Their actions will always reflect their leadership. Ask yourself, how many kids who love the outdoors really get in trouble? Let's not be the silent majority anymore. Let's not let them take the great outdoor lifestyle away now or for generations to come. Please make our voices heard and allow the next generations to live free in the outdoors. God bless you and your family.